was in a sound sleep when the phone rang. Sounds like the phone. He decided to answer it. I think I'll answer it. Hello, Hiram Leapad residence. The paper boy trying to deliver it? Well, just open the door and toss it in. <laughs> Going to have to have a talk with that young man. But Hiram was to be a victim of hidden feelings. Well, I, I suppose he's just doing his job. Then Hiram decided to look through the paper. You think I'll look through this paper? While reading the paper, he found an interesting advertisement. My, what an interesting advertisement. Have your picture sketched at home. Hiram didn't feel like responding to the advertisement, but he fell victim to hidden feelings. I think I'll answer this ad and have my picture sketched. Hello, operator. <clears throat> I would like to call... Monsieur, save your dime. I will sketch your picture for you. I am the one who puts the ad in the paper. But how did you know I was going to call? Monsieur, the walls have ears. So they do. Hiram didn't want his picture sketched. He wished he'd never even read the paper. But he was to fall victim to... Hidden feelings. I'm so glad I answered your ad. I've... Always wanted my picture sketched. Yes, Hiram was covering his true feelings. Always. I've, I've always wanted a picture of myself. I am so glad. Uh, now tell me, which is your best side? Once again, Hiram was to fall victim to hidden feelings. He knew his left side was his best. 
my right side. Mm -hmm. I hope you do not mind, but uh, I must do this rather quickly. I am, uh, how do you say, pressed for time. Hiram did mind, but... No, I don't mind at all. Rush as quickly as you must. Ah, good, good, good. I am finished. Here it is. I hope you like it. Voila. I must go. I will send you your bill. Mwah. Hiram viewed the picture. He thought it was terrible. But he fell victim once again to hidden feelings. Why, she's captured my look. I love it. I love it. I'll hang it right over there. Yes, hiding his true feelings had once again made Hiram unhappy and and miserable. I'm not unhappy and miserable. Why, if you look at this picture just right, it does bear a striking resemblance to me. I suppose he's just doing his job. talk about hey what are you what? doing kiddo <laughs> practicing my school speech oh good morning fellow classmates wrong Today bogue no good mona you should start off by saying hey everybody what's happening like that Today, I'm going to talk about how if Mona, you... Mona, that stinks. I mean, if you want your speech to be a good one, jazz it up, girl. Be cool. Jeffrey! <clears throat> On the other hand, there are those who say that if... Hey, you, what's this what? speech about, anyway? This speech is called, When you interrupt somebody when they're busy, you're being rude. That's rude. R-U-D-E, rude. Oh, well, I, um, <clears throat> I, uh... <laughs> wow! Hot pot chole moly! going on? Hot pot chole moly! I'm gonna have some fun. Hot pot chole moly! It's hot fun. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hey, man, what's happening? Oh, hi, Jim and Jimmy. I was just working on a little dance routine for, for next week's show and tell day at school. <laughs> hey, cool. Why don't you show me what you have? Well, first, have you ever noticed how sad persons walk? Uh, something like this. Hey, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and if a person was happy, well, he walked like this. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. And someone who's nervous would walk like this. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh. And if he was angry, well, he stomped like this. Right? Yeah, you got the idea. Yeah, yeah well, I know that, but... But what does all this have to do with dancing? Well, because the name of my dance is the Feelings Boogie. Try oh. it with me one time. Oh, okay, <laughs> man. First, the happy step. Take it, JJ. <laughs> the sad step. The nervous step. <laughs> well, the dance is almost perfect, but but I'll have to add just one more step. What's that, man? The person who feels tired step. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Hot foot, right out. Whoa! Hot foot, right out. Come on, engine out. Hi there, 
This is Harry Unreasonable, Harry reporting from the 26th floor of a big building, and here's today's fantastic write-on joke from little Brian Taylor. It goes like this. How can a restaurant afford to serve you shrimp cocktail, green turtle soup, roast beef, a choice of two vegetables, a big salad, and a dessert, all for just 50 cents? How can they afford all this for 50 cents? Why, they use paper plates. <laughs> paper plates. That's great. <laughs> that's funny. And, and that's all. We're here to have fun with everyone We'll grab our lights in the shade of rain Tell your friends the fun begins When you meet the hot rod gang Here comes the hot rod gang, hot fun! Hello, I'm the monster I bet you didn't think we monsters dressed this way Oh, we do And right now Right now, you're probably asking yourself, how did he become so charming, so self-confident? It happened many, many years ago, back when Dr. Harlan Chickensander was building me. <laughs> Are you ready to test the monster, Doctor? Yes, I'm ready for the monster. Bring him in. Oh, yes, he's beautiful, he's beautiful. Now, first we will attach the power source to the monster's head. <laughs> Ignarine, how many times have I told you this monster's head size is a size 66, not a size 6? Sorry, Doctor. It's all right. Now, we will give the monster the juice. <laughs> No, no, not orange juice, you idiot. When I say juice, I mean... Oh, forget it. I will throw the switch. <laughs> good, good, good. Now we will see if the monster is human. All my life I've been working on just one project. To make a real human being. Speak to us, monster. Speak to us. Yes. Ribbit. Ribbit. He's Ribbit. not human, Doctor. He thinks he's a frog. But that's impossible. I added all the numbers. I added them ten different times. And? I got ten different answers. But now, I see my mistake. We must give the monster feelings. Without feelings, the monster can, ne can never be human. So what do we do? What do we do? Idiot, we give the monster feelings. I will prepare the equipment. Ah! Yes, I will pro I will program the monster to have feelings. There, he is programmed. Now he will learn feelings. First, we will give him a feeling of sadness. Sad movies always make him. Oh, it's oh, yes. <laughs> Give him a happy feeling. Uh, waiter, waiter, there's a fly in my suit. That's better than no meat at all. <laughs> yes, Tommy, <laughs> was that fun? <laughs> <laughs> now I will give him an angry feeling, an angry feeling. Monster, you cannot watch the Hot Fudge Show for two weeks. <laughs> and feelings of, of frustration and jealousy. I've got a new bike and you can ride it. Oh, gee whiz, all right. Oh. <laughs> yes, he's real. He's very good. I think we've done it. I think we have done it this time. Yes. Well, don't you think we've done it? Oh, look. Oh. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Oh, he's beautiful. We've done it. Yes. We truly have done it. By the way, do we have any more orange juice? No. Yes. Ever since the doctor gave me feelings, I became human, just like anybody else. It's wonderful having feelings and being human. Of course, I do have one problem. Several thousand unpaid doctor bills.
seen anybody so angry in all my... Oh! Hi there! Hey! Did you ever have one of those days when everything just seemed to go all oh, haywire? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know what I did wrong today, but I certainly did it. You see, JJ's really angry. And well, all I did was tell him a few jokes. I said, Hey, JJ, you look like a peanut butter sandwich <laughs> and he went just like that and then I said when they invented spaghetti did you pose for the meatball <laughs> and he went like that again well, I don't know why he's so mad I could just see it in his face that he really hates me today uh oh here he comes now I better get going before he socks me Wait, Jeff, wait. No, I just gotta catch up with him and warn him not to eat any of Mona's cookies. They make me feel sick to my stomach. Yeah. Let's join the mix. Boy, I'll tell you how to get my hand on him. I'll just, oh, just make me so Hi, so Seymour. Mad. I just, What's happening? Oh, I, oh, boy, I'll tell you. What's the matter? You I having a bad know, day? Some of those things in... Oh, come on, yeah. Seymour. Just... Get out of this blue funk you're in. Oh. It's about as exciting as a warm oatmeal burger. Oh, boy, I'll tell you if, if I ever... Okay. Okay, if you want to feel crummy all day, that's fine. But you're not going to make me feel crummy, too. You're just not going to wreck my day. Boy, I'll tell you. Oh, I, uh, I wonder what's wrong with her. Boy, I'll tell you. Pretty. I can see more when I talk to Seymour. It's never a bore. Just me and you, the hot fudge too. We'll see all our problems through. Shall we see more? Hi, Seymour. How you doing? Oh, I don't know, Larry. I'm all mixed up and, and confused. Mixed up and confused, mm. huh? Oh, maybe I can help you. What's on your mind? Oh, uh, other people. Other people? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, I don't understand why other people always have to, have to be mean to me, Lair. Well, who's treating you like that? Well, it, it seems like everybody. Like, like, take today, please. Okay. I mean, I like to have fun, so I went over to Mona's house and, and made a funny noise at her. And? Well, all I did was go... <laughs> and usually when I do that, <laughs> Mona laughs. Right. But today she got angry and slammed the door in my face. <laughs> well, you know what I think. Well, what's that? Well, I think what's happening to you happens to everybody. Yeah, but what is it, Lair? Other people's moods. Moods? 
yeah, you know, like uh, some days you're in a happy mood, mm -hmm. some days you're in a sad mood. Yeah. Well, on the days that you're in a happy mood, then you don't mind somebody coming over and teasing you a little bit. Mm -hmm. But boy, when you're in a bad mood, watch out. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense, but, but how am I supposed to know that, that Mona was in a bad mood? Well, sometimes you can tell, you know, the mood that a person is in, the way they feel, by uh, watching really close and uh, looking for a sign. Hmm? Yeah, well, like, um, for example, if I were to come up to the tree, right, mm -hmm. and kind of look like this. Oh, well, well, you look, you look very sad, Lair, like, like you're about to cry. Right, and since you knew I was sad, you wouldn't, uh, tease me and uh, make funny noises at me, right? Oh, I get it. Right. Now, what if I looked like this? <laughs> well, you look happy, Lair, so, <laughs> so that means I could have a little fun with you, huh? Right. That's <laughs> right. So you got to kind of, you know, look out for what people's feelings are and uh, kind of look for signs as to what kind of mood they're in when you're with them. Yeah, because then, then I'll know more about how to talk to them, right? Seymour, you amaze me. I do? Yeah, you know, you're getting smarter and smarter. Oh, gee, Larry. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, let me practice reading some moods from, from you. Uh, okay, all right, are you ready? Oh, yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay, here I go. You're, um, uh, oh, oh, you're, you're, you're angry. <laughs> right, right, all right, all right, try this one out, try this one. Oh. Gee, Larry, no, now you're all sad. Yeah, I'm not really sad. Well, how yeah. about this one? <laughs> <laughs> you're happy, right? <laughs> right, right. Hey, Lair. Yep. Uh, let me try one. You read my mood, okay? Uh, all right, okay, go ahead, okay, shoot. Okay, here goes. <laughs> oh, boy, I, uh, I don't know, Seymour. You got me on that one. Well, uh... This is how I feel when I, when I listen to you sing. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You're only kidding. <laughs> huh?